you start talking about things that question people's reality, they gonna get mad. Talking about things, you start talking about things that question people's reality, they gonna get mad. You start talking about things that question people's reality, they gonna get mad. Now listen, aside from the glasses, can you relate to what the brothers say? When you start saying any kind of truth, you'll think that you're going to liberate somebody, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. But nine times out of ten, the truth, whatever it is, often brings contention. So for example, somebody says to you, how do I look? And they look dreadful or awful. And you say, wow, you look great. You're saying that because you don't want to offend them with the truth of them actually not looking that great. So the truth often is not well received and sometimes the truth is not really well sought after. You start talking about things that question people's reality, they're going to get mad. They're going to get frustrated. It's kind of like the Matrix. You know, when the uh, when anybody can become an agent of the Matrix, frustrated. It's kind of like the Matrix. You know, when the uh, when anybody can become an agent of the Matrix, it's kind of like the Matrix. You know, when the uh, when anybody can become an agent of the Matrix. Now, how many of you had many many friends? before you started looking at a certain pursuit of truth, whatever that may be. But how many of you had certain friends that when you started to pursue truth, they distanced themselves from you, whether it be family, friends, relatives, or pets. They started to distance themselves. But then you have others who even try to attack you by attacking your character, attacking your reputation, misrepresenting you or the above and all the beneath. And I find it interesting that it says the truth can make people just turn into agents. Mom, dad, uncle, whoever, whenever, for whatever, when it comes to the truth. Or like in Inception, you know, when they start realizing that somebody's changing the dream or altering the reality and they kind of they turn on them and they attack them that's exactly what the is in that somebody's changing they start realizing that inception, you know when or like in inception you know when they start realizing that somebody's changing the dream or altering the reality and they So let's just make this practical. Let's say you grow up in a household where everybody's talking this perverted babble tongues and you try to bring the truth of that is not tongues. Most people are going to hate you. Or let's just say you bring a truth about food and that you shouldn't eat pork but your family have ate pork forever and your nan died at 99 and she ate pork and she smoked tobacco. Bringing any kind of truth can cause contention. Yes, it's not good to sow division, but you have to also understand that the truth is divisive. It separates the wheat from the tares, the sheep from the goats. So on this road, you'll be with people. People will be with you, per se. But when you get to exploring truths, they may forsake you, or they may even turn on you to shut you up. Interesting. Kind of they turn on them and they attack them. That's exactly. Now I had to mute that because the guy was about to swear. He says, that's exactly what's going on. Bleep, that's the expletive. But he said, yo, that's exactly what's going on in reality. When someone comes with a truth or they uncover something that was dormant or has been lost for whatever particular reason, the people that are stuck in that cycle of convenience, tradition and custom, they can find it difficult to let go and embrace or to unlearn, relearn. It's interesting. I know some people are probably still looking at this video thinking, why has he got three glasses on his head though? I can't watch this. Very triggered. <laughs> but aside from that, 
I hope you're just taking home the point that truth is very offensive. So be careful with who you offend. Or should we not care who we offend as long as the truth is presented? So you got to understand that you can't force you can't force knowledge on nobody. They got to you have to want to see the truth. Force you can't force knowledge on nobody. They got to you have to want to see the truth. That's another excellent point. You actually can't force truth. Now, a lot of us have the best intention. We're not going around. Well, some people, they do it for this, they do it for that, they do it for this, they do it for that. But there is a, 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 a overwhelming majority who do say things to help people or want to benefit people. They give them the information, not to sound like they're some superior juggernaut of information, but they do it out of trying their best to uplift that person's situation by giving them the tools to overcome. Yeah, but even with that best intention, sometimes it can be not well received. Yeah, so you can't force anything on anybody when it comes to truth or when it comes to anything for that matter. People have to have a first, a desire, a yearning to want to explore in the first place. That's the only way somebody's going to see the truth is if they want to see it. You start talking about things that question people's reality, they gonna get mad. Let me know if you agree with that in the comment section. I hope you found all of this interesting. And as always, extending thoughts.